Okay, now the last thing that's see the first example in composite bodies. The only thing we need to know is how do you get the mass if you have only the area? Because if they give you a body, that means they get its area and they give you the dimensions. So to get the mass, we get the area of that body, then times the mass find area. This works if they ask for the center of mass. But if they ask for the center of gravity, then we underestimate the weight. To get weight, still we get the area, now times the weight find area. In most cases, we don't the weight for find end of the debate lamina. So that's why we say you can designate it BW. Simple as the weight for unity area. Let us see this example. Find the center of gravity of the uniform lamina below, taking AB, AB and the AE as the axis. As you see, this is A1, this is A2. The whole lamina is this. Now the one has to get the center of gravity for the whole lamina. There are many methods, but I'm going to take you through five, which I think is easier. So, what we do, we get the area for this first. So, the area for the first body, A1, is going to be. We get the dimension because it's that this is a, a rectangle. So we get 4 times 6, which is going to be by 72 centimeters squared. What does it imply? It implies that now we can also get the weight for the first. How do you get the weight? We get the area times the weight per unity area. But we say that that will be the weight times area. So my area here is already 72, then times W, which is going to give me 72 W. So this is my weight one of the first three body. Because this is a composite area for my list and this. So this separate and this separate. So the area of the second body is going to be, it's not a still it's also a rectangle because of the dimensions. 7 times 4 which is going to be 28 centimeters squared. So to get now the weight, still, I will say the area times the weight finite area. Because we saw that the weight and mass have to be so those how they are dated in the previous lesson. So my weight 1 is going to be 28 W. Now, it means that now, if this one is weighing this and this is weighing this, I need to get the total of the whole because our center of mass and in our center of gravity is going to act where that weight is going to be. So our total total weight of whole lamina whole lamina is going to be added and this 72 W plus 28 W. So this one is going to give me 100 W. Now the center of gravity is going to act where this weight is going to fall. It's going to be where that weight is going to act. So what are you going to use? We know that to get the center of gravity x bar, y bar, we need we use our general formula. Weight, where this weight is acting. If we know where those two weights are acting, then I divide by the sum of individual weights as simple as that. So our task we know now we have the weights but we need to know where they are acting. This one that is going to act here but these ones we don't know. So we sketch because they're telling us that taking AB and A E as axis and let's see what that means. So this is my first lamina there. So my second line is going to be there also. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, and then this is E. This one they are giving me 12 centimeters, and here they are giving me 6 centimeters. This one they are giving me 7 centimeters. This one they are giving me 4 centimeters. Now, the idea is what we do. You first create the center of gravity of these two. So you say that if it's a rectangle, of the center of gravity is always acting in the middle because these are because they are in the form line. So in the middle, I think you just say this is going to be my middle. 
So this is where our first set of time for this one is going to be. And then this one is going to be this, this one is going to be my cent, my middle. That's where the center of gravity is going to act. Now my task is to find the coordinates. But this one, because it's in the middle, from here up to here, I have 12. So half because it's in the middle, so it's half with this. So this one is going to be the horizontal it is the x coordinate. So from here, if I divide this by two, I get six. Then this one is going to give me the y coordinate for this. And you see, if this is six, then in half time it's going to be three. So this is where my first wave is going to be. It's going to act as simple as that. This weight, which is 72. Equal to 72. Now we Okay, then for this, but now we have, that's why I'm, they know that the axes are A, B, and H. That's why from here, I am guessing from this is my A, from here up to here, there are three, and from here up to here, there are six. Now, this one from A, B means that now to get our coordinate, first of all, this one is in the middle, so meaning this one from here up to here is 3.5. But from here, either we are going to get this 12 from here up to here. Then we add the 3.5. So meaning we need that 12 and we add 3.5. Now this one becomes 3.15.5. Because from here up to here is 12. Then from here up to here, this is in the middle of this. If this is 7, then this is going to be 3.5. We are getting that as 12 plus 3.5, which is giving us 15.5. Then from A, that's why I'm getting from A, B, from the axis they told me. Then let me also get the set from A, B now. Now from A, B, this is our A, B. From here up to this, how many is just half of this? Because from here up here is four. So half of this is going to be two. Now this is where my weight two is very active, which is so expect eight now leave. Now, we don't know why, where our name is going to act, so it's just set. Let our be at there, x bar, y bar, and then our weight is going to be acting there. The total weight of the whole 100, that will be as simple as that. So, you know the weight of the wall, but you don't know the coordinates of this. You know the weight for this, you know the coordinates for x, b. You know the coordinates, you know the weight for this, and you know the coordinates. So there you just press our formula, x bar, y bar. Is equal to two. Now we shall sum the weights. The first weight, W1, and then its coordinate where that weight is. Then plus the second weight and its coordinate where it is over the sum of these two weights. Weight one plus weight two. Because that's what I'm having. As simple as that. By the way, some other people have different methods where they break table, and I thought this is easier. <laughs> Very easy. Anyway, I'm going to use also that table to worry. So this is going to be x bar, y bar, equal to w1, which is 672, w, the first weight. Then where is it occurring at 63? w2 is 28. Where is it acting? At 15.3, then 2. Then the all over. This is W, don't forget R W. Then weight one, which is 72 W, then plus weight two, which is 28 W. And from here, our X bar, Y bar is going to be, when we simplify this, and then we get my R, and we simplify that. Of course, with this one, is 15.5. This is point five. Okay, so when you simplify that, the answer I'm getting here is going to be the answer when you get this times this. So when you get 72 times 6, then plus 28 times 15.5. So the answer I'm getting is 8. This is going to be two seven two. The whole over when the sum is two gets a hundred. Now we then after that 
we get this, we divide by that. Over, this is the average, the old over. 100 the average, which I also get. These are the averages, please. Because we're having this lab years. Then over to 72 W over 100 W. So from there, it's that our X bar, Y bar is going to be 8.66. And this one is going to be 2.72. And therefore, our center of gravity, which is at X bar, Y bar is going to be at uh, 8.66, 2.72, as simple as that, that becomes our answer. So with this, we've got our answer, and that means we are very happy, very happy, because we have a, good, a nice answer. So that's how we handle that. As long as you know how to locate, always the most important thing is what access are we referring to? If it's A, B, then in most cases people forget and they just get the, the just this, you come from this and you add the whole length up to here. Then from A, B means that you get this, but from A, B you add that, from A, B you get this, half of this, then from this, as simple as that. So, if that's how we handle that, remember this, I wish you well.